At the end of the previous year, BYD surpassed Tesla to become the world's largest seller of electric vehicles, marking an incredible rise for the Chinese car maker. In the three months leading up to December 31st, it produced a greater number of electric cars than Tesla for the first time and slashed the sales lead held by Elon Musk's company over the year as a whole. So, what allowed a relatively unknown Chinese battery manufacturer to rise to prominence and overtake Tesla as its main rival? BYD was established in 1995 by Wang Chuanfu, a modest former academic who currently serves as the company's CEO and has its headquarters in the Chinese megacity of Shenzhen. The letters BYD, according to Wang, stand for nothing specific. To separate it from other businesses, he claimed to have gone with a rather strange odd name. It is China's leading producer of electric vehicles, exporting them to Europe, South America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. Unlike Tesla, it also makes plug-in hybrids. BYD's largest overseas markets are now Israel and Thailand, where the Chinese manufacturer leads the way in EV sales. The Qin and Song models are its best-selling passenger cars. The Qin is a small sedan that may be purchased entirely electric or as a plug-in hybrid, and BYD Song is a line of tiny crossover SUVs. Since BYD is known for selling cars at lower prices than Tesla, it has been able to draw in a larger customer base. In China, the base model costs slightly more than $10,000, whereas the most affordable Tesla Model 3 is priced above $32,000. The passenger cars made by BYD are not yet offered in the US. However, its electric buses, manufactured in Lancaster, California, are sold across the country. Wang, an engineer, originally came to Shenzhen in the early 1990s to oversee a battery manufacturing company for a Beijing-based government research organization, according to his official resume in the company's filings. In China at the time, government jobs were referred to as iron rice bowls, a popular term for a job for life. However, Wang quit quickly and started BYD. His foray into entrepreneurship began at the same time when China's economy opened up to world trade. Deng Xiaoping, China's former leader, established the country's first special economic zone in Shenzhen, attracting hundreds of manufacturing companies through the city's open economic policies and lower labor and land costs. By 1997, Wang's tiny workshop had developed into a medium-sized mobile battery manufacturer, with yearly sales of more than 100 million yuan, or $4 million. The Asian financial crisis that year created a window of opportunity for growth as falling battery prices forced many rivals out of business. This cost advantage allowed Wang's company to thrive. By 2003, BYD had become the world's largest manufacturer of nickel-cadmium batteries, which were widely utilized in mobile phones. However, Wang wanted more. Wang entered the automotive industry in 2003, acquiring a state-owned car maker in the city of Xi'an for 269 million yuan, or $38 million, with a focus on the future growth of EVs. As Wang subsequently detailed, the unexpected move shocked the company's strategic investors and caused a 21% decline in the company's Hong Kong-listed shares, but he was steadfast. After the share price collapse, he boldly declared, I build cars because I am optimistic about the future development of electric vehicles. Wang was vindicated just five years later in 2008 when he obtained a $230 million investment from his most renowned backer, Warren Buffett, who paid almost $1 per share for a 10% interest. Over the next year, the company's shares increased by as much as 1370% thanks to that mark of confidence. By the end of 2008, BYD introduced its first plug-in hybrid vehicle. Since then, BYD has grown significantly as an EV producer, thanks in part to the Chinese government's support for the industry. Buffett has steadily reduced his investment in BYD since 2022, taking some of the massive gains he has made. 
According to the most recent report by Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, the company owned approximately 8% of BYD as of late October. At this time, the value of the shares is 18.28 billion Hong Kong dollars, or 2.3 billion dollars. Competing with Tesla, since beating its competitors both domestically and internationally in the largest automobile market globally in 2015, BYD has dominated the Chinese EV market. Tesla's four models, the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, and Model X, are priced between $40,000 and $120,000 in the United States. The base Model 3, which is the least expensive Tesla model in China, starts at $32,375. When fully charged, it can travel 272 miles and reach a top speed of 140 miles per hour. In contrast, the BYD Seagull costs 10,300 dollars in China. It can reach a maximum speed of 81 mph. There are two battery packs available for the Seagull. The larger battery offers a range of 251 miles, compared to the smaller battery's 190 miles. International organizations have rated the safety of both BYD and Tesla cars. The Australasian New Car Assessment Program awarded the Model Y from Tesla and the Auto 3 from BYD 5 stars in 2022, respectively, making its own batteries, producing lithium iron phosphate batteries, blade batteries since 2020. BYD sells these batteries to other automakers like Toyota in addition to using them in its own vehicles. According to the manufacturer, the blade-shaped battery can make the most of the space inside the battery pack because it is longer and thinner than traditional lithium iron cells. According to BYD, it also has a lower chance of catching fire, even in cases of serious damage. German media claims that Tesla also employs BYD blade batteries for its Y cars made in the Berlin Gigafactory. In March 2023, Elon Musk denied a media report saying Tesla was ending cooperation with BYD on battery supply. Price war. However, increased competition and an aggressive price war last year damaged the profit margins of many Chinese automobile manufacturers, including BYD. According to the most recent data from the Chinese Passenger Car Association, the nation's automobile sector reported an average profit margin of 5% for 2023, compared to 5.7% in 2022 and 6.1% in 2021. The price battle doesn't seem to be stopping despite small margins. The Seagull hatchback, Woody's most economical EV, saw a 5% price reduction recently, coming in at $9,670. In recent weeks, price reductions have also been announced by other Chinese automakers, such as Xpeng Motors, Geely, and Cherry. Finally, in the past few years, BYD, the massive Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, has become an anonymous rival of Tesla. By emphasizing innovation, sustainability, and mass market appeal, BYD has established itself as a market leader for electric vehicles worldwide. So, what do you think about the future of the EV industry? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below.